Today we will learn pattern video. Before learning this video, please learn the first and second part of this video. Today our pattern is this. So we have to solve this pattern by four steps. So step number one. Step number one is how many number of rows and how many number of columns are there? Four rows and five, seven columns are there. So first plot this alphabet accordingly. Step number two. Step number two is first write the row numbers and then where is our alphabet in which column our alphabet is. So first for when the row number is one column number is four. A is on four. Then for row number 2, it is 3, 4, 5. Then for 3, it is 2 to 6. And then for 4, it is 1 to 7. Now, this is step number 2. Now, step number 3. Step number 3. First, write the row numbers. And for 3, it is when the i is 3, then j is 2 to 6. And when the i is 2, j is 3 to 5. So, we can write when i is 3, j is greater than or equal to 2 and j is less than or equal to 6. When i is 2, i is 4, then j is greater than or equal to 1 and j is less than or equal to 7. So, write the remaining rows also. j is greater than 3, less than 5 and in the same way, j is greater than or equal to 4 and j is less than or equal to 4. Now, step 4. What is the general condition? General condition must be j is greater than or equal to 5 minus i and j is less than or equal to i plus 3. If i is 3, then j is greater than or equal to 2 and j is less than or equal to 6. Now, these are our four steps. Now, our program. Now, our program is this. So, first, we declare two variables i for row and j for column i starts from 1 to 4 and j starts from 1 to 7. Now, some condition then you have to print this alphabet otherwise blank and after completion one of one complete row you have to print slash n means when a new row starts you have to write slash n for a new line. Okay. Now, if our pattern is this star then just write print f star and write our condition then your program is okay. But our pattern is this. So, how you can print this pattern? So, I initialize another variable k and initialize k by a. Means when one row starts, one new row starts, always k value is a. See, I declare one character variable k and when a new row starts, always k equals to a. Means when a new row starts, k value of k is a. Now, after that, see, Till the value of j is 4, it will increase. But when the value of j is 4, after that, the it will decrease. Then c, then b, then a. So, in that case, print a percentage c k, I print the value of k and check whether the value of j is less than 4. If less than 4, then increase k. But if the value of j is greater than 4, then decrease k. I repeat check the value of 4. Check the value of j is 4 or not. If 4, if the value of j is greater than 4, then you have to decrease. If the value of j is less than 4, you have to increase. Now see the code. So this is our program. When a new row starts, initialize k, k by a and Check whether j is less than 4, then k plus plus, otherwise k minus minus. So, this is our program. When I run our program, see, this is our required pattern. So, our next pattern is this. So, first, you have to solve this pattern by four step. First step is draw the table. So, four row, four columns and place the your character accordingly. Second step, 
how many number of rows four and where is our alphabet is first it is uh, first column and for second row it is first and second column third it is first second third and fourth it is one two three four now step three step three is what is the row numbers now when i is 3 j is less than equals to 3 when i is 4 j is less than equals to 4 when i is 2 j is less than equals to 2 so we can write in this way when i is 3 j is less than equals to 3 so write the remaining rows now step 4 what is the general condition when i is 3 j is less than equals to 3 when i is 2 j is less than equals to 2 so general condition is when i then j is less than equals to i now our program so this is our pattern first take two variable i j i for row and j for column so four row and four column now some condition then you have to print the alphabet otherwise you have to print blank else blank now after completion of one row when a new row starts when when i value becomes two before that you have to give one new line for a new row and then closing bracket now if i want to print star here if the pattern is like this just write printf star and our condition is this just write that condition but we don't want to print star here we want to write alphabet in place of star so remove this line printf star our program is this so here for printing alphabet i declare another variable k character k now i start the value of k as initialized value of k as k equals to 64 plus i why 64 because as k value of a is 65 always start from first row it is a second row it is b so first row it is a means 64 plus 1 means what a next time it becomes when i equals to 2 it becomes 64 plus 2 means what 66 means c b next time when i equals to 3 then 64 plus 3 that is 67 means c and fourth time it is 64 plus 4 means 68 means d so we start from for first row it is a for second row it is b for third row it is c and fourth row it is d now here print f k so i print the value of a here and the next time when it is say b then k minus minus just print the next character by decreasing k so for third row it starts from c then b then a in this way your program will work so see the code so this is our code i j and initialize k character k k initialize k as 64 plus i and then sorry this one should be 4 now when we done our program see our pattern is this this is our work pattern so our next pattern is this so you have to solve this pattern by four steps step number one is how many rows and how many columns are there right uh, draw one table so four rows and seven columns are there and place your alphabet accordingly step number two how many rows are there write this and where is our alphabet store for row number one it is one two seven so write one two seven for two it is one two three and five two seven and for three it is one two and six seven and for four it is one and seven now step three so write down the rows now what is the condition for three 
it is less than equals to 2 and greater than equals to 7 for 2 it is less than equals to 3 and greater than equals to 5 in this way and for 4 it is less than equals to 1 greater than equals to 7 for 2 it is less than equals to 3 greater than equals to 5 and for 1 it is less than equals to 4 and greater than equals to 4 so what is the general condition general condition should be j is less than equals to 5 minus i or j is greater than equals to 3 plus i if i is 3 then j is greater than equals to 2 or j is greater than equals to 3 plus 3 that is 6 so these this is these are our four steps now our program so this is our pattern first two for loop one is i and j i for row and j for column it starts from one to four four row and seven columns are there now some condition then you have to print alphabet otherwise you have to print blank now after completion of one complete row means after inner for loop execution from 1 to 7 when it starts a new row number means when i becomes 2 before that you have to give slash n for new row then int now if i want to print star in place of alphabet then if if the program is this then print f star write print f star and our condition is this but i don't want to print star here i want to print alphabet here so just remove this printf star and you have to write something different so how you can write this see here it starts from a b c d after fourth column it is again decremented c b a but here a b c then there is a blank then decremented and here a b then blank then decremented so i declare one variable k character k okay each time it starts from a okay so I initialize k equals to a always for each row it starts from a so for each row k always starts from a now you have to check whether we reached our fourth column if we reached our fourth column then decremented so print k is j less than 4 if it is greater than 4 then if it is greater than 4 means if the value of j is greater than 4 then decremented and if the value is less than 4 then incremented okay if the value is less than 4 means 1 2 3 then incremented and if the value is greater than 4 then decremented okay but another thing is that in this case in this case say here it is blank when there is blank this condition is false we can't go to this condition so there is blank in that case you have to but you have to print from C. I repeat in this case say for row number 2. For row number 2 there is blank. So I can't, can't in, enter to this if case. We go to else case and print blank here. After blank you have to decrement it. So here you have to give k minus minus. So if j equals to 4 then always give k minus minus here. Okay. So this is the condition for your program so now see the code so this is our code k initialize k equals to 1 in our condition if j less than 4 then k incremented otherwise k, k decremented but if j equals to equals to 4 then k decremented means for row number 2 3 etc see this is our required pattern so our next pattern is this so first you have to solve this pattern by four steps so first draw the first step draw the table so how many rows and how many columns are there five columns and five rows are there so place your alphabet accordingly now step two step two is first write down the row numbers now where is our 
alphabet. So first for first row it is column number 5, then for second row it is 4, 5, third row it is 3, 4, 5, fourth row it is 2, 3, 4, 5 and fifth row it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now step number 3. Step number 3 is first write the no numbers. Now for 3 it is 3, 4, 5, for 4 it is 2, 3, 4, 5, for 5 it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can write that j greater than equals to 3 and j less than equals to 5. So here for 4 it is greater than 2 less than 5, for 2 it is greater than 4 less than 5 and in this way write the remaining rows. So what is the general condition? General condition should be if it is i j greater than equal to 6 minus i and j less than equals to 5. For all case it is j less than equals to 5 and j greater than equals to 6 minus i. This is our general condition. Now our program. So now the program. So here you have to take two variable i j. i starts from 1 to 5 for row and j starts from 1 to 5 for column. Some condition is there then you have to print the alphabet otherwise print blank. And after completion of one complete row when a new row start you have to write slash n. Now if I want to print star here, then if the program is this, then print f star and write the condition here, we already calculated. So this is our program. But in place of star, here we want to print alphabet. So remove this line, we want to print alphabet. So how we can print? So first see, see the pattern. First it is A, then it is C, B. What is the difference between A to C? It is 2. And what is the difference between C to F? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the difference between F to J? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And what is the difference between J to O? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, from A to C, the difference is 1, 2. So 1, 2, 3 and from C to F the difference is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So and after that when C comes we just decrement C to B. When A, F comes F then E then D just decrement G then I then H then G just decrement. Okay. So this is the logic. So first I initialize character K a variable K by 64. Why so? Because 64, um, the xk value of a is 65. Okay, so I write k equals to k plus 2 into i minus 1. First time, what is the value of i? i is 1. So 2 into i minus 1 means 2 into 1 minus 1, that is 1. k plus 1 means 64 plus 1, 65. First time it is 65. So here I write. 65 here and then next time. Next time what is we start from C. We start from C. When the I is 2 we start from C. So K plus 2 into 2 minus 1. 2 into 2 minus 1 means 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 means 3. So difference between A to C is 3. Now when I is 3. It is 3 into 2 minus 1 means 5. The difference between C to F is 5. And when I is 4, then 4 into 2 minus 1, that is 7. So, difference between F to J is 7. In this way, and each time when J comes, we just decrement. Means J, I, H, J. When F comes, E, D. So, here K minus 1. So this is the logic for this program. Now see the code. So k equals to 64, uh, k equals to k plus 2 into i minus 1 and this is the condition k minus minus each time and this is for new line, this is the for printing blank. So see the code see the execution. So this is our required pattern. 
for getting more and more updates please please subscribe my channel that's all for today thank you